Oh. Not really out to focus on this camera. For some reason. Tim, options. Listen to this ear rape. Oh god. <laughs> god grief. Oh yeah, that's my jam. That, that's, okay. that's, that's Transformers. This game has two player. I, are you taking on tune? Yeah. This yes. music is the catchiest tune in almost all of Sonic. Actually. Yeah. It's stuck in my head now. <sighs> Spinball was such a good game, like... Oh, I forgot where the buttons are. What's, what's, flip, what's the other flipper? Oh. That's square. Okay, that's cool. Final hardware. Wasn't this game more based on the cartoon, or was that just a uh, um, game machine? Yeah, uh, um, yeah, but I think this is as well. I think it's definitely more. So. You do see Sally and yeah. someone else in the special stage in the, their only video game appearance. Yeah. And I think the Robotnik is the one from. Yeah. I Maybe assume. It I assume it's from Sonic Saturn. Saturn then. Yeah, and the other one is based on Avengers. Would make sense. But yeah. Um, kind of vibe to it, isn't it? it. It has a much darker vibe to it, I think, than the main, the main 2D Sonic games this does. Hmm. Oh god, this going to stick my head. I like the way that uh, it's not just one, it's not like one pinball section either. You go up and you land in the next pinball section. Yes. Um, so, what was it, uh, Glyn, what was your memory of this? Your first memory? Same with first... three, my friend had Sonic 3 and also Sonic Spinball, which is how I got introduced to it. I spent, we spent hours after hours on this. And even though we were rubbish at it because the game was hard, I had no problem spending hours on just this level because of this music. <laughs> so... But now, like, now with the Mega Drive or Genesis Collection on PS3, it gives you an incentive to spend ages on this because I think it's like 10 million a, a trophy for it. Mm -hmm. So it gives you like well, an incentive to keep going. I don't know, it's yeah. addictive as hell. Uh, right, so Tim, what is your first uh, experience with this game? Um, I actually downloaded the soundtrack before I even knew the game. <laughs> oh, and I heard oh, wow. this song and I was like, oh, hell yes, this is catchy too. So did you get this on Mega Drive or no, was this, no, uh, this, until, this is a Mega uh, Collection? This, yeah. so, uh, right. But this song, I was like, oh yeah, this is my jam. That's, uh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I'm over here now. Uh, I bought this a few years after, like, Sonic 1, 2, 3 in 3D. Uh, more of a curiosity, it was like, oh, there's a Sonic pinball game, that's interesting. And I played it and I was like, oh, okay, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, and as such, sort of, this is one of my most played Mega Drive games, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it Tom? Um, I played on this collection for the first time, actually. Oh, okay, so this is the first non-ROM... Yeah, I thing. never got ROM for this, so I played it on the collection. Hmm, that's cool. Um, right, so, I mean, well, this has boards rather than stages, I guess, but... I'm assuming everyone's favourite is this one. Yes. Yeah. This is plainly the music, yeah. Yeah, but... I mean, yeah, I don't need to ask you about the music then either. This is. This <laughs> yeah, this Although is. Although I do like the options of music, despite it being all. I don't know. I think if it really does step, I don't know. The options one was certainly sort of. It sounded better on um, the actual cartridge, but like, it's one of those ones that suffer from emulation. Yeah. There was just something about it that I liked even back then, I didn't know what it was, even though it still sounds like a mess. No, every time. It, it kind of feels a bit metally, sort of, as in they were trying to maybe replicate metal with like That's midis. Just the Mega Drive sound, uh, yeah, it's. But yeah, no, it's. I mean, the menu thing isn't sort of. Oh, wow. <laughs> horrible. It's. Uh, yeah, good. <laughs> right, well, I can't think of anything else unless anyone has some tidbits about this game. Wasn't this American made? I could be wrong. Maybe. I think it is. Could be. Pretty much all the Sonic games are. Apart from one? Yeah, no, apart no, from no, one. But like, no, but like, I don't think I could one be wrong here, but didn't Sonic one. Team not do well? They helped to make this, but it wasn't like all their work or something. I see, so this is, yeah, this is kind of a, a licensing kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, kinda, sorta. As then they got the license for Sonic and went, fuck it, let's make a pinball game. Yeah. Which, I, I fair play to them, they, they did a good job. I mean, it wasn't just, here it is, don't mess it up, it was them helping. 
Yeah. And fair play to that team. They 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 didn't sort of make a weird kind of you know thing. It, it, it does feel like hey, Sonic can go into a ball shape and <coughs> Sonic you know. Boom. <coughs> I mean, what about Sonic Boom, Tom? Well, you were saying you know you know dis- misusing the license. Even though it is I'd, Sonic Team, but that's an opinion. I mean, yeah, okay, that's a okay, but I know. But what I mean is, Sonic Boom isn't related to this. Exactly. This, this is Spinball. This is this is a while before Sonic Boom. Oh yeah. Uh, I meant in yeah. the same. Twenty twenty one years ago. I meant in the sense that uh, it doesn't feel like Sonic. Oh right, okay. Um, right. Well, that about wraps it up, I imagine. Uh, unless anyone has anything else to say? Uh, hard, but music's amazing. Yeah, this is definitely worth a, you know, a, a a, yeah, a go if you've never played it, because it it does literally feel like if they made Sonic into a pinball game, but also kept some Sonic elements and stuff. Uh, right, well, next episode, uh, t- next part of this episode will be Sonic CD, so see you then. Okay, we are now playing Sonic CD, as you can see. Guess the lyrics completely wrong. <laughs> it's a short one. It's yeah. a shortened one. Oh, oh it does. Oh. Here we go. I completely oh, forgot. I love this opening one. I have seen this opening and it you looks fucking lovely. <laughs> see, why, why is it with Sonic 3D they couldn't do an opening like this? I know the beautiful one. Yeah. Seriously. Like, Mind you, they were using the CD technology. Yeah, I guess if they had put this in 3D, then like they'd have had to cut a lot of stuff. This isn't actually the original one. This is the enhanced one. I see. Boom, Sonic, boom, Sonic, boom. I, lo- I love the, re- I love the remix on the Gems Collection Museum. Is it the drum and bass remix or something like that? Oh wow. But yeah, this intro is just ah. Uh... See, I kind I quite like sort of nineties animation like that where like most of the frames are like detailed as fuck. Akira does the same, sort of buildings collapse and you see like <laughs> Can we just screw you playing it and just do an acapella cover of all the songs? <laughs> and then put that on the YouTube channel instead? Yes. So, should I talk about the plot of this game? Or? Uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll let the audience take this intro in first, because... That's a big ass chain. That's oh, this game has cutscenes throughout. Or is it just at the end? I think it's have... the ending. Yeah, it has another cutscene at the end, but we're probably not going to see that. Okay. Uh, right. So this is Sonic CD. Uh, this was for the CD uh, add-on for the Mega Drive, was it? Or yeah, yeah, the Sega. Right. CD. Okay. Um, well, let's begin. Tim, when did you first play this? Right, it was on James Collection. Right, okay. Also, for reference, we were using the Sonic Mega Collection Plus, and now we're using the Sonic's Gems Collection for emulating all of this. Ooh, the emulation is hurt, yeah, I can tell you. Uh, oh, wow. super yeah, peel out. Right, so, Glyn, what was your first uh, experience I of this? I think I first played it as a PC demo. My first experience, experience was Gems. Right. Uh, well, I have never played this, and this is actually my first time seeing any Sonic CD footage. You're going fast well, enough to get into the past and the future. It's glorious. Yeah, if you go fast go enough to the thing, you go into the past, past. you go to the future. Dun, 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 oh, dun, dun, yeah, you have to. I wasn't the only one thinking dun, 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 dun. that. <laughs> <laughs> and the music changes and the stage is different. Yeah, also. that's really cool. Um, oh, shit. I have heard of the time travel thing. Uh, you have to go back to the past, and, um... And then you have to go back to the future. Yeah. yeah. And the game has multiple <laughs> endings. Uh, basically, at the end of every stage, depending on if you've got a good future or not, you'll see a different future at the end of the stage. Oh, cool. And, um... You, you get time stones or something, yeah. You need to do a certain amount of stage exploration. Oh, you gotta, you got to hit those things. This these... 
yeah, he's that, a kind of an extra thing, but there's um, you've got to find the capsule with the animals in. And those... I'm pretty sure the Metal Sonic thing counts towards it. It counts towards something. I think it's pure the extra, actually. Um, right, so Tom, what was your first memory of this or experience? Was this a ROM? I played it on this collection a little bit, but I gave it a proper go recently on the HD re-release. On Steam. Which has yeah. both the soundtracks. Which is That's great. cool. And this is the American soundtrack, I'm assuming? Yeah, yes. The only thing better about the American soundtrack is like... It's all pretty good, though. Yeah, yeah, it's not I like, like both! I like both. I like much prefer the Japanese one. No, I don't want to go to the future! No. It's called the Speedly Future. It's bad future on that. Yeah. It's such a great term. I'm going to have to go slow if I don't want to go to the future. I know. I think it's already one off, though. If you get hit, yeah, I think it's going to be one no, it's still there at the bottom of it. Oh, right. yeah, it is, you're right. Um, There's a way of getting rid of... There's a goal, anyways. Right, so, stages... You're right next to the goal, just go for it. Any, uh, send, it. Tim, yeah. uh, Glynn, do you have a specific stage you like from this? Um, oh, what's the last one called? Metallic Madness, I think it is. Just in the music, mostly, but... I don't really have a personal favourite, because I'm not used to it. I've only gone through it once, compared uh -huh. to the other ones. Is it Wacky Booth Bench? Oh, that was annoying. That one. It's annoying, but kind of in a in a fun way. Oh, and Starter Speedway, obviously. Wacky oh, yeah, Starter Speedway, that's the one I like. Yeah, well. Starlight Speedway is my favourite on the Japanese version. Uh, what about songs? Which do you prefer? Bad Future, Starter Speedway. It's just glorious. And the yeah. Japanese version. And, and, the, and the American. Yeah, the. Yeah, the. Version of Sonic Boom. It's oddly feely. The, uh. Oh, the point. The, yes, the only song I've heard from this is obviously Sonic Boom, which I think I first heard in Smash Bros. You know Starter Speedway Bad Future Oh, well. they've changed the spin back. I don't think I do, I've never played this yeah, game. That's the way, yeah, that's yeah, the way they've already yeah, done yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's the original spin dash on CD. Um, oh, I do love this music as well. Speed up, maybe, it doesn't sound familiar, but possibly. Um, Here's a super peel out. You've already shown it on. Yeah. Didn't show it properly, I don't think. You still went into the Super Pilo. So, any any extra stuff you guys can think about for, like, you know, for trivia purposes or uh, other things? This is the first Sonic that had two completely different soundtracks based on what version it is? I don't know. And, you know, there's Metal Sonic, who was pretty dumb. Um, I mean, Amy debuted in this as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. The boss. best thing about Metal Sonic is how completely simple he is as a concept. It's like, yeah, it's, 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 it's Sonic. Oh, there you go. If I come back here in the past and destroy this thing, I get a good feature. But although I've ruined it because I have not done the first stage properly. Well, it's not good enough. So if I can find a past post, I'll find a future one. I'll show you the future just because... Well, I can't right now. Or not. Oh, silly stage. Right. Yeah, the spin dash is slightly different because you've got to hold it down for a set amount of time. I see. Yeah. In the re-release, the HD one, you can swap between the different spin dashes, which is quite interesting. Also, I just realised a tidbit of trivia for uh, Sonic... Oh, well, no. For Sonic 2. Um... The recent like Android and iPod, uh, iPod, uh, Apple Store release of that includes that zone that wasn't finished. Hidden Palace. Hidden oh, Palace. Yes. It, it has a legitimate zone yeah. um, because people have ported her over, like coded her in and stuff, and Sonic Team are totally fine with that, which is cool. So I guess that's a definitive version of two then, like. On a device that I haven't got. Yeah, I it's mean... It's the same guy who made that as made the CD um, oh, remake. Oh, right. And he's kind of a prolific hacker Oh, in the Sonic hacking scene, I guess. Well, that's cool. Oh, and as you can see, I've got a bad future here because I didn't do all the... Ooh, invincibility. invincibility ah. Um, yes, basically Sonic 2 was American made. And this was kind of going to be Sonic 2, but this is oh. like the Japanese, what the Japanese did, which is quite interesting. I see. Listen to that creepy music. Yeah. So can I, ever, I know like most people prefer the Japanese, but I like how creepy this is. Oh, oh, this boss is so easy, by the way. Yeah, the music really is like the off-putting. 
Ooh. Thank you, Tim. Uh, right, well, that should conclude this episode. Next up, we're going to have a special uh, of Sonic R and Sonic the Fighters. They'll be on a different channel, Skill Guy Maur, which Link is... below, yeah. or in the caption. I will, I will put both. Uh, that's basically a channel that we all... Well, we, we did part one of a Sonic 06 Let's Play. And then something happened and we just stopped. It's as if, um, it's as if Tim... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's as, be like, Where's he gone? It's as if uh, Tim lost all the footage. But I, yeah. There's one what thing to talk about, you know. There's a new character there ah. in this game. As she follows you around, you know, nice. she'll be your new companion, you know. And you, if you wait a second, and you'll see... travels through time with you. Wait a oh, oh, there he is. Oh, my God, it's Metal Sonic. Who's a badass? Oh no! They went for a kind of Mario-ish plot uh, on this, almost. Mario-ish so, is definitely a real plot. Yeah, definitely. Mario-esque, possibly. Um, it's not so, the main plot though. Really. So incentive. thank you for watching and keep an eye out for that because that'll probably be a bit of a longer video because we're gonna have a small tournament. So until then, goodbye.